August 6, 1945, America dropped the first atomic bomb on Japan. September 3, 1945, the Japanese Emperor Hirohito surrendered unconditionally. Good morning, sir. Excuse me, are you Mr. Ishikawa, sir? Yes, but how did you know my name? Uh, the other guests are all here. You are the last, so I knew who you were, sir. Oh. May I take your hat, sir? No need. Please. Please. Shikawa. You're still alive. Of course. But I'd rather be dead. It's been a long time. This is our first meeting since we were defeated. I miss old Unit 731. Still, let's drink to the good old days. Before I do, I want to know whose wine we're drinking. Oh, huh? what's this? But Chikawa, the reason why we're here, weren't you told? I've no idea why we're here, or even who invited us. <laughs> Neither do I, but the wine here is free, so who cares? I sure don't. <sighs> hey, you girl, bring us more wine. Yes, sir. What an obby. give him some wine. Gentlemen, let us drink to Unit 731. Please rise. To all the survivors of Unit 731. And what about the others who didn't survive? What about them? Well then? And to the others who didn't survive, to the brave men of Unit 731, and the countless thousands who died in the experiments, the Chinese and the Russians. Chikawa, what's got into you? Drink. Right. Cheers! Well, Shikawa, sit down. No, thank you. I'm sorry. I must go. But, but Shikawa, we haven't seen each other in years. Why are you leaving? We have so many things to talk about. Please stay. What is there to talk over? We're all starving. No one can afford to buy rice, even. The whole country is in a terrible state. Is that what you want to talk over? 
Please, Mr. Chicago, I won't you stay longer? And who are you? That is not important. You can call me anything you like. Susan, Christina, whatever. My name is of no relevance in this matter. The important thing is why I'm here. And why you are here. I'm the one who invited you to this little gathering today. Will you drink to the brave heroes of Unit 731? Sure. Well, gentlemen, to the brave heroes of Unit 731. In 1920, Shiro Shiroshiki graduated from the medical faculty at Kyoto University and obtained his doctorate in 1927. After obtaining his doctorate, he went to study in Germany in 1928 and later went to France, Italy, and finally Russia. I believe Shiroshiki is well known to all of you here. However, how many of you are familiar with the paper he produced for the imperial government? At the time, Japan produced only 4.5 million tons of steel annually and relied on ore and coal from its mines in Manchuria. Japan was vulnerable. If those supply lines were cut, it would be helpless. Some way had to be found to reduce the reliance on steel. And this is where Shecky came up with the idea of using a new weapon, one that was freely available, germ warfare. Excuse me. Did you invite us here to talk about outdated theories? Mr. Shikawa, some of us believe the theories are not outdated. Explain. As you know, sir, we're now facing the prospect of war. We must protect our co-prosperity sphere, so the government has decided to restart the project to develop germ warfare. I see. You want to start the experiments again? Well, I will not be party to it. Good day. You'll be doing it for the Emperor, and for thousands of U.S. dollars in cash and gold. I'm interested. What's that? You bastard, Hanno. What? How can you call me a bastard? Listen. I'm not as rich as you are. Huh. Am I a bastard? Because I want my kids to eat? What's wrong with that, tell me? My wife's very sick. She's dying. I need money. Drugs are expensive. Every single day, I have to go out and beg on the street. You know how that feels? No, of course you don't. So tell me, Shikawa, am I a bastard? Hano! Shikawa couldn't have known about your situation. Now take it easy, all right? Take it easy? If I'd taken it easy, my wife would have been dead months ago. Now you know, Hano. You mustn't forget the lesson of Funa Hisihachi. What's the lesson of Funa Hisihachi? You don't know? No, I don't. Please let me hear it. Hmm. I find that quite strange. You appear to be so well informed about the Imperial Japanese Army. However, you don't know of the story concerning Unit 731. Interesting. Are you sure you want to hear it? Yes, I love to hear the stories about the old days. All right. Hmm. Sit down. Very well. Funa Hisahachi was a doctor in Yamakuchi Prefecture. He adopted a boy named Tarahanda. He also had a daughter called Iko.
be like this. What's up? Talk to me. There's nothing to say. I guess it's my destiny. Our country needs you. That's why you must go. To serve the Emperor is a great privilege. I've been set up. Kyohan arranged it. But I'll wait for you, Handa. I won't forget you. I promise, when you do return, I'll be here waiting for you. You'll wait for me? Mm. To be honest, I have a bad feeling about this. I know this is goodbye. No, Handy, don't say such a thing. I know you'll come back. I'm certain of it. What's up? Don't tell me. Missing your girl? Yeah, don't you miss yours? <laughs> Not me, pal. I got too many of them for that. Oh. How can you say that? <laughs> hey, take it easy. Don't be so touchy. I was only joking. Yeah, well, you sure <laughs> had me fooled. Hey, soldier. My name's Taro Handa. What's yours? I'm Baroku Hinda at your service. Oh. <laughs> We've been traveling for days, and we're still not there. Hey, don't worry. We'll get there, all in good time, my friend, wherever that may be. I think we've arrived. You think so? Why don't you think so? I don't think. <laughs> <laughs> you stupid idiot. <laughs> Bihanaka. Sir. Baruku. Sir. Chiramura. Sir. Torohanda. Sir. Come with me. Get them out! Sir! Everybody out! And on the double! All right. My name is Captain Kikohan. From this day onward, Lieutenant Hanano will be your superior. Now, we have rules here. They must be obeyed. Any breach shall be severely punished. Firstly, this unit is highly secret. 
Its work is classified, so no contact with the outside world. Secondly, no one may leave this base without my written approval. Understood? already be aware of the present situation. It appears that war with the Russians is now inevitable. The Imperial Army is bogged down in the south. It is thought unlikely that we'll make any breakthrough in the near future. There is some doubt as to the future outcome of the campaign. Therefore, success now rests on the work that Unit 731 is undertaking here. After a number of numerous experiments, army scientists have succeeded in isolating a strain of the bubonic plague virus, 60 times more virulent than normal. We need to start up production quickly for the sake of the Imperial Army and a quick victory. Thank you, gentlemen. Sir! As you've learned, Unit 731 is concerned with developing more efficient ways of waging germ warfare. Most of you might think that this is easy. Just drop a few bombs on the opposing troops and let the germs do the rest. But there are problems. We have to take some precautions. Otherwise, any germs released could well infect our own troops. Furthermore, the Emperor himself has ordered that progress be made rapidly in order to speed up the expansion of our co-prosperity sphere in East Asia and the Pacific Basin. The future of Japan rests on our shoulders. We produce many viruses, mainly typhoid, cholera, anthrax, and bubonic plague, to name a few. They're tested on humans, mainly Chinese, Koreans, and Russians. The results of all the experiments are catalogued and sent to Tokyo for further evaluation to the high command itself. Your work with us will go towards the expansion of the co-prosperity sphere and the greater glory of the Empire. So I count on your diligence, gentlemen, and thank you. Sir! At the end of each experiment, the corpses or logs are subject to an autopsy. Samples are then... We'll resume tomorrow. Yes, sir. sir. All the internal organs, once they're removed, are put into storage jars and archived for future reference. It's a time-consuming process. Our research establishment here has more samples of human organs than any other establishment in Japan or indeed the world. Did you get all that? Yes, yes sir. sir. Nowhere else on Earth. It's the depth of hell. Take this photograph. It'll remind you of me. Keep it by your bed. It'll give you strength and courage when you're feeling down. Thank you. I'll treasure it. And I'll bring it back when all this is over. I know you will. And I'll look forward to it. One thing. You must promise me that you won't listen to what Director Kyo says. He'll only try to sweet-talk you. Whatever happens, Eko, don't fall for his lies. Oh, please, Hanna. Won't you believe me? I can only belong to one man. And that man is you, I promise. Please wait for me, Eko. Of course I will. <laughs> Over there. Don't worry. Hannah, please forgive us. We're late. 
I'm very sorry. Please, Director. It's nothing. Doctor, thank you for coming. It's my pleasure. Father, why are you so late? Your protege is leaving for Manchuria. He'll be gone for months and you're late to see him off at the station. Hmm. I'm sorry I was late. I couldn't help it, dear. We had an emergency at the hospital. We had to resuscitate someone. It's true. I was there. Your father saved a life today. If he hadn't been there, the man would have died. As it was, he nearly didn't make it. That's the reason why your father was delayed. What, my patient in 203? The old That's fellow? That's right. That's him. Eco, you should apologize. Mm. <laughs> Don't worry. My little girl is a, a little hot-headed. Oh, well. Take care. Come back in one piece. <laughs> Promise me you'll write to me every week. Yes, of course I will, Eko. And you too, huh? Hando! Hmm? Eko! Hey, take a shower. Well, the water's too hot. Yeah. All right. I've nearly finished. <laughs> you know, I really envy you. Hey, so what's it like writing love letters, huh? <laughs> it's like sweet and sour. What's that? Hey, do you mean to tell me your girl is like sweet and sour pork? Uh-huh. What are you talking about? Ah! Huh? <laughs> Let me tell you. There's one thing that she really hates, and that's sweet and sour pork, okay? So never use that metaphor again. <laughs> right. Sweet and sour fish, not sweet and sour anything, all right? Hey! <laughs> 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 I'll tell you something else. My girl's real pretty. In fact, prettier than your carvings, right? Refrigeration on, sir. Sir? Minus 10. Damage is minimal and recovery very quick.
They're both dead. Too bad. For the next experiment, only five minutes. We need to determine at minus 40 degrees the maximum time a human being can survive. Carry on. Sir. Hey, Sergeant. Take those logs over to the incinerator right away. Which logs, sir? Idiot! Here, they're logs, not humans. Tell me what a log's made of. Wood, sir. Wood is used for burning, isn't it? Sir. After freezing to minus 200, using some liquid nitrogen, all internal cells are completely destroyed. I'll demonstrate. All right, now we'll immerse the limbs in water. Go on. immersed in liquid nitrogen at minus 200, become very brittle. Lieutenant, carry on, please. Yes, sir. Where's the incinerator? Straight down there. Keep going. Oh, thanks. Germans have also been experimenting with freezing humans, and they found that women have a greater resistance to cold than men. Yeah, well, I heard all about that, and I guess that explains why my wife's frigid. <laughs> <laughs> What's the matter? I had a nightmare. It was really horrible. And uh, this place is just what I imagine hell would be like. The experiment on humans. I saw a man and a woman freeze to death. We used to experiment on animals. But I swear, up until now, we never used humans. It was totally forbidden. But today, I did see something. Something terrible. A mother and her young son. They were both gassed to death. They're not even corpses. They're just logs. Good for burning. I don't understand. How can they do this? And uh, I don't think I can stand any more of this. If I stay here, I think I'll go insane. 
<laughs> Please don't be like this. You must keep going. Come on, don't give up now. Come on, man. We can't change anything here. In any case, the war may be over soon. You're right. But will we have won or lost? You know, I don't care if we're the winners or the losers. I can't hold on till the war's over. You must. For the sake of Eco, you must keep going, Handa. Hmm? But Eco's had no news from me. Who knows? Maybe she thinks I've been killed. She may have married. Maybe she hasn't waited. Handa! Didn't you send her all the letters you've written? How could I? I asked if I could send them. But I was told that it was impossible. We're not allowed to write home. Give them to me. I have to go out tomorrow. While I'm out, I can post them for you. Hinda, uh, I'll never forget your kindness. It's nothing. It's my pleasure. Thank you. I'm grateful. Still 20 seconds. Drain all his blood. Take him away. Bring in the next one. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. seconds. Oh. Major? How's the experiment going? Very well, sir. The trials with the bubonic plague were successful, sir. Very good. In order to cultivate more virulent strains of the virus, I'd like, for the time being, for the test to go on. Good health. Cheers.
Oh. <laughs> oh. 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 I think this log needs disinfecting. <laughs> 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 An infected hawk must be spectacular. I must investigate this further. Today is a great day for the Japanese nation, a day to be revered by all Japanese citizens. For today is the official birthday of His Imperial Majesty, the Emperor Hirohito. Sadly, we cannot send our greetings because of our communications blackout. So to pay our respects to him, we shall all face Tokyo and bow. Company to the left, face! All right, today is His Majesty's birthday, and to celebrate this day, we shall raise a toast to the Emperor's health. Detail! You have been very clumsy. We cannot have that in this establishment. Luckily for you, what you broke was only a jar of rice wine. Therefore, no great harm was done. Now I want you to bring us more wine so we can proceed with a toast to the Emperor. Sir! ask you all a question. Imagine that the bottle I have here is not wine, but a deadly virus, one produced here, and in this bottle is a germ. All right, now. <laughs> Tell me, the liquid that splashed over you, it contains what? Germ, sir. Viruses! Yeah, germs and... That's right! Bacteria! Ebonic plague! E. coli! Flu virus! A bacteria! E. coli! Typhoid! Ebonic virus. virus! E. coli! The black... The ceramic bombs produced by this unit will lead Japan to victory!
The glorious new Japanese Empire shall never be defeated! Long live the Empire! Long live the Empire! Long live the Empire! Long live the Empire! All right, men, today we have the first field trials of the new ceramic bombs. The test site, the town, has already been marked on the flight plan. Sergeant! Sir? You'll be up front. You're responsible for the navigation. The others, in the hold, bomb handlers. Understand? Sir! Good. Prepare for takeoff. Sir! Left turn! Everyone on board! This is Big Bird calling Bear. Do you receive me, Bear? Come in. Over. Loud and clear, Big Bird. Over. Big Bird to Bear. We'll be over the target in five minutes. Request wind and target information. Over. Target area is normal. Wind direction acceptable. Sounds good. Thanks, Handa. Uh, hey, it's you. How did you know? How's it going up there, huh? Hmm? I think I'm gonna throw up. I'm getting really airsick. I can't wait for this mission to be over. Over. Stand by. Over. Message, sir. They're ready. Awaiting orders. Good. Whenever they want. Sir. Start run. Starting. Over. broken one. What shall we do now? Please help us. We're all gonna die. We're all gonna be infected. Huh? Now listen. Don't panic, all right? I'm gonna tell the Major right away. Over. Sir. What is it? A container's broken. What should they do, sir?
The men on board the plane had all been infected. There's nothing else we could have done for them. I know. It sounds callous. But I assure you, the only option left open was to shoot them. There weren't just those seven. There were many others gave their lives. In all the burial grounds around the center, I counted a total of 357 gravestones. Tell me, why did you have to tell us all those lies? to discuss it. Captain Kikuhan has warned me. If I reveal anything, I'll be branded a traitor and be forced to commit harakiri. That's that. Why? Why did it have to happen? Is this patriotism? Will you shoot your own men? We may be out of thank Lieutenant Hanano. He assigned me to navigation duties. Otherwise, I guess... I'd be dead along with the other seven. Stand by your doors! Stand by your doors! to a Miss Hisihachi. Base her. I did. Tara Honda. Base her. You again, you bastard. <laughs> Who helped you send the letter? Huh? <laughs> <laughs> Who helped you send it, huh? Talk! <laughs> Talk! <laughs> Talk! <laughs> 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 I helped him send it. Baruku Hinda. So you're in this with him? Right. You'll regret this. You bastard! You bastard! Oh. 
All right, listen. I'm not a monster. I don't like having to do this. I don't want to see anyone punished. But the rules have to be maintained. Please understand. The work of Unit 731 is vital to the Army and to Japan. A city in an occupied territory like Harbin is full of enemy spies. They do anything to undermine the important work that we're doing here. We can't let that happen. It is unthinkable that the whole future of our country's expansion into Asia should be put into jeopardy by one stupid love letter. If I had my way, Taro Hander and Baru Kuhinda would be court-martialed and shot. However, it's their first offense. Therefore, they'll get solitary. Seven days. Dismiss. I'm terribly sorry. Forget it. It's all right. Satisfied with the experiments? On the whole, I am. Except for the infections. Make the viruses 100 times more virulent. Sir. Higo, wait! Higo, wait, wait for me! Come back, please listen! Please listen! Please, Eco, wait! Just a moment, please! Eco, wait! Just a moment! Wait! Can't you leave me alone? I'm sorry. Forgive me. It's not my fault. I'm so in love with you, Iko. Director Q, you must understand. I could never love you. You see, I'm in love with Handa. I will wait for him. Now, please, let's forget this ever happened. Lieutenant, this man here is oversexed. Really? We'll soon fix that. This way. said was true. Honda was a true hero. He died for his country. No. I don't believe it. Honda isn't dead. I know it. We'll come back one day. I know he will. Oh, <laughs> 
Ready? Fire! You bastard. Fire! Director, could I talk to you for a moment? Wait outside, would you please? Yes, sir. Well, Doctor, go ahead. Well, Director, our family has always been well regarded in this town. And we... We care about our family honor. So you see, I would really appreciate it if you would stop pursuing Eiko. She's already engaged to Taro Honda, and she still intends to marry him. And quite frankly, Director, the news you brought about Handa's death, I find it difficult to believe. I'll wait until I have some more concrete proof. Now we've cleared up this misunderstanding. Thank you, Director. Goodbye. Misunderstanding? There'll be no misunderstanding about where you're going. Hmm. Number 723. Here. 604. Here. Come on, move. All right. Since you've been stationed in Manchuria, this is our first outing. Let me remind you, this is Manchuria, not Japan. You are in occupied territory, and as such, you are seen as the enemy here. Whatever you do, don't forget it. You're free to move about here, but only within the area marked out by the white flags. Understood? Yes, sir! It is now? 115. Be back here at 3 o'clock sharp. Dismiss! some drinking water. I'll go with you. Hey, Panda doesn't need your help. You go ahead. Catch us up, okay? We'll be further along. Hmm? Hmm. I won't be long. Don't worry. I'll see you later. Yeah. Come on. <sighs> Lovely scenery around here, huh? Will you please? 
Sure, no problem. Where are you from, huh? I'm very sorry, miss. Dr. Fune Hisihachi was transferred from the military hospital some time ago. We lost track of him. What about Lieutenant Taro Honda? To be honest, miss, we've no record of a Taro Honda ever enlisting in the army. There must be some mistake. I'm sorry, miss. We can't help you. You'd better go back to Japan. How did you hurt your leg like this, huh? My name's Ben. Did I tell you, Dr. Kimura? And I don't want you to worry. Whatever I get up to, I'll never do anything to hurt you. You didn't answer my question. Uh... Tell me, are you a pickpocket? What's up? Soldiers are coming. Quickly. Tell me, are you Dr. Kimura? Yes, I am. You're under arrest, sir. The charge is high treason. We have evidence. Move. They got the doctor. Can you spare a few coins? My boy here needs food. Oh, please. A few coins, that's all I ask. Please, lady, just enough. I can buy a little rice to eat, that's all. Thank you, lady. Oh, thank you so much. God bless you, lady. That's Dr. Kimura in the picture. Huh? Give me back my bag. All right, miss, but answer one question first. Sure. Go on. Are you related to Dr. Kimura? 
Where's this Dr. Kimura? I don't think I know him. Sure you do. Dr. Kimura is the one with you in that photograph. You know my father? That's wonderful. Can you take me to him? Where does he live? He was arrested by the Japanese today. They've taken him to be sentenced. Arrested? What do you mean? Whatever for? For nothing. But that doesn't matter. They don't care. It doesn't make sense. I don't understand. It's easy to get arrested around here, miss. Especially if you're a Chinese person, or a Russian, or a Mongolian. They just pick you up off the street and take you away. You never heard of ever again. Gentlemen, the conflict in Europe has come to an end. The Germans have surrendered to the Allies. That theater of warfare is closed. According to our information sources, the Soviets are moving their troops to Manchuria. Therefore, war against the Soviets is likely very soon. That means that we must speed up the production of our weapons. And our research must be greatly accelerated. But, Major, our logs are fast running out, sir. And it's becoming difficult to replace them. It's slowing down our experiments. That cannot be allowed. We must be able to guarantee a steady supply of new logs for the future. Inform the militia that acquisition of logs must be speeded up. Sir. Hachi, I'm surprised to see you here. I thought you worked at the military hospital. Why aren't you there now? Why did you leave? Tell me. At the hospital, we were ordered to take skin from people for grafting to injured Japanese soldiers. I thought it was inhuman. It was inhuman? All I know, doctor, is that I'm Japanese. And so are you. You're supposed to be doing important medical research. And instead, you're helping the Chinese. You're a traitor, Hisiachi. I could have you shot for this. Did you know that? Normally, I would have to pronounce a death sentence in this case. However, in view of the fact that we were friends at university years ago, I've decided to give you a second chance. Don't let me down. Lieutenant. Sir. Arrange for this man to be given work in the disinfection unit. Sir.
Bring them out. Sir! Unload them. Come on out. Let's go. Move it. Hurry up there. Come on. Come on. Move on now. Get out. Let's go. Come on. Have you seen this man? Mm -mm. Have you seen this man? No. Hey, have you seen this man? No. That's enough inside. Move on back. Move! Calling your name. Is he badly hurt? Don't hurt. It's too late. There's nothing we can do now. He's dying. Going in. Doctor. Uh, uh, and, uh, uh, you are here, my boy. Don't come any nearer. You'll get infected. Doctor, what on earth are you doing here? Uh, forget about me. Uh, uh, I'm dead already. My Nico, she's logged three, four, five. Uh -huh. Number three, four, five. Oh, no, don't take her. Oh. No.
We must get out of here. <laughs> I have to get you out. Wait, Hannah! Hey, Misiko! Don't forget me! I have to save Finn. He will find you. Can you open the door for us? Hurry, come on! Come on! Let's come on! Come on! Come on! We must get out of here! Let's go! This way! Come on! Come on! Hurry! Open all the doors! Please, Major. What is it, Lieutenant? One of the locks, sir. She's Japanese, so she says. Taro Handa seems to know her. They're trying to escape. Come on, hurry! 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 Hurry! Come on! Watch out! Come on! Hurry! Come on! 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 Come on!
and that is the end of the story. <laughs>